Hey everyone, it's Luke here from LT Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out the top 8 strategy games which have been largely forgotten in 2024 and I think you should give them another chance or be playing them. Now of course this list could have been a top 50 but I wanted to break it into different segments and give you some highlights that I think you should definitely check out. So don't treat the list as a definitive top 8, it's just 8 recommendations that I'm playing and I'm really enjoying in 2024. And perhaps I am bending the rules slightly with this list because some of the games are quite new and still reasonably popular, but I think they could be even more successful if we get more players on board, so why not highlight them to you? Some absolute gems here. We have a lot of excellent lists on the way, including more in the space sim genre which did incredibly well on the channel recently. So here we go LT Gamers, a curated list of strategy gems which I think you should pick up and play in 2024. Enjoy the list, make sure to like, comment and subscribe, all of your support is absolutely amazing and if you want to support me and Tom in the future development of the channel, consider joining and becoming a regular member of LT Gaming. The first game on our list is Wars Across the World, a unique historical strategy turn-based game in a board game spirit which aims at simulating in one single system all kind of wars and conflicts throughout history and the world. If you've been following our channel for a while, you will notice that we've been very high on the SGS games, and those games are developed from the engine which is used in wars across the world. The absolute diversity of the conflicts available in this title is on another level. I mean, you can play scenarios from the Roman times all the way up to modern conflicts and even some alien invasion scenarios. The base game is exceedingly cheap and comes with a set of campaigns. You can then purchase others as DLC, and to be honest, most of them are pretty good value. For me, the highlights were the British campaign in Afghanistan, and no, not the latest one, the one in the 1800s, and then the recent Zulu scenario. If you are an avid wargamer and want to get into a range of different scenarios from across history, then Wars Across the World is definitely a game to play in 2024. Coming up next, we have Field of Glory Empires, an excellent game from the developer Ageode and published by Slytherin. It is essentially a grand strategy game in which you will have to move in an intricate and living tapestry of nations and tribes, each one with their own distinctive culture. Now I'm a big fan of a lot of the old AGO titles, but they run fairly poorly by today's standards and this updated engine was an absolute joy to jump into. It really is a grand strategy gem set in Europe and the Mediterranean during the classical age, and you will get to experience what it truly means to manage an empire. One of the really awesome things about this game is the decadence concept, so your empire can fall and rise depending on whatever crisis civilization is currently going through. There's also a DLC available for this game, and now is the time to jump in because there is a sequel on the way called Medieval. Very excited about that one. Ultimate General Civil War is a tactical real-time strategy war game. Experience the bloodiest period of US history, the American Civil War of 1861 to 1865. I am a massive fan of the American Civil War and all the history that surrounds it. It truly captivates me. And I remember playing as a kid Sid Meier's Gettysburg and being absolutely blown away by it. This game is its spiritual successor in every way. Even in 2024, I'm yet to come across a game which captures the tactical maneuvers and strategic brilliance of the American Civil War as well as this title. You can fight an entire campaign and participate in 50 plus scenarios from small engagements to massive battles that can last several days over hundreds of square miles of terrain. As you move through the campaign, your progress will be affected by the outcome of each battle and the amount of men you can take into the next one and the upgrades that you're given. It's a very immersive concept and one I really enjoyed in this title. Now, it may be a little early to include Dune Imperium on this list. It is a board game adaption that only recently came out and it has quite a strong player base overall. However, given the size of the Dune IP and the quality of this game, it deserves even more praise and I would like to include it here on this list for all of you to go and get today. The actual board game itself is award winning and they've done a brilliant job of turning this into a digital version. You're able to battle online or locally with AI while earning achievements that showcase your prowess as a leader on Dune. 
You can then embark on a number of challenges that will really test your wit and cunning, and I particularly enjoyed this game mode. There are then rotating challenges online where you can earn score and compete on leaderboards, a really good competitive angle. And finally, the main place I play this game is on the Steam Deck. It's a really great integration and a wonderful way to enjoy the game on the go. Next up, we have Salig, a game that blends together elements of simulation, strategy, RPG and business management. Centered around the life of you and your family, you must try to survive and bring wealth and prosperity to your household. Basically, think the Guild 3 or any of the Guild's game in a Saxon-style environment. Now, I'm not quite sure if I said the name of this game correctly, but I just know the pronunciation police on YouTube will be straight on me if I didn't. But all jokes aside, this game is still in early access, but it is playable on the Steam Deck, so that's a real added bonus, and they're adding to it all the time, so I think now is the time to pick it up and rediscover it in 2024. This game is extremely immersive, and I love building up my own business in Dark Ages England, and I really enjoy the Anglo-Saxon take and aesthetic of this game. I will never forget the hours of enjoyment me and Tom had trying to murder each other in really sly ways in the guilds too, so this game does have a lot of nostalgia for me. Sailing Era is a game where you get to navigate your fleet and sail for fun, run a business, have a romantic encounter in the tavern, capture pirates amid intense battles, or explore inland for treasure. You can experience foreign culture, make novel discoveries, and sail away. I picked this game up recently in the Steam sale, and I have played a huge amount of it on Steam Deck where it performs absolutely brilliantly. It's a wonderful, whimsical pirate adventure. In this game, there is a real-world scale map and highly detailed recreation of the ocean, land, monsoon currents and weather changes from a huge maritime world. There are over 200 unique ports full of exotic local culture to experience. You can resupply, trade, accept commissions, recruit sailors, invest, and engage in many other activities in the ports. There are over 30 outstanding individuals like British scholars, legendary pirates, Jewish merchants, and Japanese ronin to recruit. The game has an excellent art aesthetic and very chill music, and I think it's really one for you to go back and play again in 2024. Endless Space 2 is a strategic space opera featuring the compelling Just One More Turn gameplay set in the mysterious Endless Universe. As the leader of your civilization, will you impose your vision and build the greatest stellar empire? I included this game for a reason. After a recent patch, it's having somewhat of a resurgence, and I think it's a real gem to play this year. We love space games on this channel, and this is an excellent one where you get to build an empire with some really unique cultures and civilizations. The recent patch fixed a lot of issues with the game and improved a number of the DLC components that just didn't work and had kind of brought the game down. So given the scope and scale and the wonderful music in this 4X game, you should go back and give it another chance today. And finally, we come to the game that in 2024 I've been enjoying the most as a strategy title, and that is Nobunaga's Ambition Awakening. Now this is quite a big series with a lot of games and it comes from Koei Tecmo. Imagine an alternate universe where all of the norms we expect from our strategy titles are thrown out the window and entirely different systems are used. Well, welcome to the world of Nobunaga's Ambition. With a uniquely Japanese aesthetic and game design, it really is something special to play this year. Now, the game has a fairly strong player base, but is not as popular as it could be in the West, where I think it's a little bit misunderstood. But I've always loved the Japanese history, and this game brings it to you in spades, with a wonderful aesthetic and bombastic soundtrack that just really gets to me. The gameplay is deep and complex, but they've translated that really well to the Steam Deck control, so it's one I really enjoy playing on the go, and it's probably my favourite strategy game to play on that system this year. The game includes over 2,200 officers that you can lead to victory in your campaigns, and you can lead those individuals to conquer the warring states of Japan under one banner. The game did suffer from some fairly poor reviews in the beginning on Steam, and that was mainly due to the fact that people didn't like the changes from the last title. 
but I've noticed the reception has been steadily increasing on Steam and it's getting better and better ratings, so I'm starting to think that people are finally getting this game in 2024. It's expensive and it rarely goes on sale. It also doesn't support super widescreen, which is a bit of a miss in this day and age. However, with all that set aside, it is a wonderful game of Japanese strategy and adventure. And if you're looking to play a strategy game on the Steam Deck, then I would highly recommend this title. Step into the world of insane Japanese game design and just embrace a different way of doing things, and you will get something from this game. So there we go LT Gamers, that is the list wrapped up for today, I think we could do many many more of these, and I would love to see your suggestions in the comments below. I've already picked up a bunch of brilliant space sims from the last list, so it's always appreciated. I've been Luke from LT Gaming, and as always, I'll catch you on the next one.